like a superhero. A chosen one. <laughs> well, all right. This establishment has been around for five years and change, and has been privy to a wide variety of information. If someone wanted to know where to find a rare figure, or which maids from which cafes have boyfriends, they'd come here. We've even been able to help people find bargains on PC parts, or sellers who manufacture illegal ROM cards. And of course, we know all about the delusion contractor, right down to the stitching on his fancy pink cape. You know about Canon? I thought that particular tidbit might capture your interest. Well, I suppose I can tell you. Your first hit is free, after all. Do note, however, that this is not but unconfirmed rumor, practically an urban legend. You know, my friend's brother saw him, or my cousin's classmate knows him, that sort of thing. But no matter the source, one testimony is always the same. He can take you to a world of wonderful delusion. Meet him, and you can literally live your wildest dreams. <laughs> Sounds pretty sketchy to me. Well, I did tell you my sources were questionable, didn't I? Isn't it pretty likely Canon doesn't really exist at all, then? I have my own suspicions about that. It is undeniable, after all, that delusions have run rampant in Akihabara of late. And as the number of delusions encroaching upon the town increases, so too do the rumors of Canon and his pink cape. So you also believe that the spread of delusions is directly tied to Canon? Assuming, of course, that it really does exist, yes. At any rate, it's getting rather late. Things get a bit blue from here on out, so you children should run along to bed. Should you have any further questions, however, do feel free to stop by again. You'll always be welcome. Cool. I appreciate it. Now then, off with you. Or, wait! Uh, I haven't been paid yet. Oh yeah, sorry. Asai's got us. Yamato! Oh, I just, I just. In lieu of payment, however, may I ask one simple question? Inkun, what are you? Yeah? Inkun is my dear friend, that's what. And I'm also a familiar with a storied and honorable history. Oh? Where did you two meet, I wonder? Delusionscape I got lost in. That was about a year ago now, back in my hometown. Interesting. There's something wrong with Pinkoon? No, no. Idle curiosity, I assure you. Thank you for the upfront answer. Now then, what say we call it a night, hmm? Tomorrow is sure to be another busy today for you. I'll be cheering you on from back here. Should any further details come in about Canon, you'll be the first to know. Ah, oh, there he is. Uh, morning. Looks like the gang's all here. But I wonder why the need is always the last to arrive. You'd never believe all the nothing I get up to. Besides which, I realized something kind of mind-blowingly massive last night. Oh? Something about Canon? Huger than that. Huger than Canon? That's what I said. Look, today, yesterday, the day after tomorrow, it's all Sunday, right? Which means as long as this loop keeps on looping, you're all neat, too. Excuse me? Getting my hopes up was a mistake. But if we're all neats now, then you can't use your neat status as an excuse for being late anymore. Oh. Crap. Well, that backfired spectacularly. That's enough discussion of neatness for one lifetime. How about we get to the main event? Main event? Didn't you see Akemi's email? We have to get to the Radiola Kaikon. Uh, save point! Shall we take a break? Shall we take a 
book before moving on? What the? It's a new delusion, all right. It seems we haven't stopped the encroachment. You think Cannon did this? I can't say for sure, but with this here, I know what we have to do. Hey, look! There's another business card on the ground. That definitely makes it hard to deny a connection. No delusionscape entrance, though. Not yet, it would seem. What do you suppose the theme of this delusion is, Asahi? I don't know. It's kind of hard to pin down. Looks a little gothic to me. Sort of doll-like, maybe? Radio's in the name. But Radio Akaikon mostly sells cards and anime goods and such, right? Yeah, it's actually kind of famous for the crazy amount of figure shops in there. Both new and used stuff. Hmm, so maybe it's a figurine delusion? But that still doesn't seem quite right somehow. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. Hmm? May I have just a moment of your time? Is something the matter? I'm looking for someone. Do any of you recognize this woman by any chance? Her name is Katomi Sonata. She's the sole daughter of the Sonata family. Seventeen years old and a high school senior. Wow, she looks just like a doll. Oh, a gothic Lolita. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm! And just what is your incessant grunting supposed to mean, Asahi? I know her. I've met her. Oh! Are you an... Acquaintance of hers by chance? Not quite. I just ran into her right around here yesterday. What is your problem? Huh? Oh, I'm just... Stay away from me, you disgusting foul brute. I don't recall ever giving you permission to speak to me, do you? So you're going to remove yourself from my presence this instant? Getting within one meter of me is strictly forbidden. And she chewed me up and spat me back out for even attempting to talk to her. What in the world did you say to her? Nothing. Nothing at all, I swear. Anyway, uh, what did you say your name was? Oh, my apologies for the rudeness. I should have introduced myself before asking you so many questions. My name is Yoshino Sayonji. I am a maid in service to the Sonata family. Whoa, so you're like a real maid then? Like the real deal? That's correct. I've been employed as such for over ten years now. Wow, didn't realize there were any maids around here who were actually maids. Back on topic, Yoshino. May I ask how long Kotomi's been missing? When I woke up this morning, she was no longer anywhere in the manor. And upon her desk, I found this. Is that one of Cannon's business cards? Sure looks that way. Um, Yoshino, would you mind sharing a few more details with us? Like the kinds of things Kotomi was into, her favorite foods, the places she liked to go to, and so forth? The answer to all of those questions stands before you. What, here? Yes. Radio La Kaikon is home to the mistress's favorite doll shop. Oh yeah. I know the place you're talking about. It's on one of the higher floors, right? Tell me. Yoshino, would it be alright if we borrowed that photo of Katomi for a little while? We'd like to help in your search. R really But... Please, allow us to do this for you. We genuinely want to. No, it's not that. I just can't give you that photo, I'm afraid. It's a matter of privacy for my mistress. And there's also the matter of my collection. Huh? Oh, n nothing. In lieu of the photo, would this suffice? A portrait? And a really good one, too. Incredible. This will do just fine, thank you. We promise you that we'll do everything in our power to find her for you. Are you certain you're willing to drop everything in order to help a stranger like that?